day everyone in today's lesson we're going to talk about resistors and series and parallel have you ever wondered about the difference between batteries and electricity from all outlets or how to make a series concept in electrical circuit electrical current in the external circuit is directed from the positive to negative terminal current density is the amount of electrical current flowing per unit sectional area of a material Resistivity P equal E vector over G vector Conductivity Theta 1 over P equal G vector over E vector One of the best way to understand how electricity works is through circuit analysis. Circuit analysis or solving a circuit is figuring out voltages and currents in each element. The process of breaking down a circuit into its key components and studying each one. You've learned that the key components of electrical circuit are voltage, resistance, and current. These properties are all related in one another through Ohm's law. Let's make it simple. These are DC circuits with resistors in series and parallel formations. Series formations occur when resistors are connected along the same path, so they have the same current passing through each one. While parallel connections are when resistors are placed on wires that branch out from a single point, all having the same voltage drop across them. To find the R equivalent of resistor in a series, we just add the re resistance together. R equivalent is equals to R1 plus R2. For resistor in parallel, we use different method. One that gives you resistor with an equivalent resistance that's smaller than any of the individual resistor in the branches. Resist resistance equivalent is equals to re resistance 1 plus resistance 2. Now, let's put this equation to work. In our circuit, we have five resistors that is placed separately in the wire. In order to get the R equivalent of the circuit, let's start with the easy step first by finding the resistors in a series. You can collapse this down into a single resistor by simply adding the resistance together. In this case, you can add the R2, R3, and R4 using a series equation to get the R prime. To get the R prime, we're going to use the series formula, adding the value of R2 plus R3 plus R4, which is equals to 1 ohms plus 3 ohms plus 2 ohms, and the R prime is equals to 6 ohms. And now, you can add the R prime and R5 using a parallel equation. 1 over R2 prime is equals to 1 over R prime plus 1 over R5. So, 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 is equals to 9 over 18. The value of R2 prime is equals to 2 ohms. With that, we are left with two resistors which we can combine to have a R equivalent. R equivalent is equals to R2 prime plus R1, which is equals to 2 ohms plus 1 ohms. So the R equivalent is equals to 3 ohms. For the application, any switch in your house that controls a single bulb is a series circuit. The switch and bulb are in series. And if a switch controls multiple bulbs, they will be in parallel. 